So Fisher and Paykel is a very diverse workforce. When you walk around the building, you see lots of elements of diversity. But one of the things that we recognised was we're not necessarily seeing gender diversity in the more senior management roles within the organisation. So we embarked on a, on a project to understand why that might be the case. So the results of that analysis told us that there was no bias with our recruitment processes or the retention of our female employees. But where we did find a problem was in our gender pay gap. We looked at whether we had people um, treated equally on, on, and, and if there was a difference in pay, why? And we halved the pay gap in the first 12 months. I think the, the biggest thing for me was a reaction of the senior leadership when we found out that we had a gender pay gap. When you've got people who truly want to do something about it, then it's very easy to throw some resources at addressing it. There were a lot of visible initiatives in place and that kind of opens the company up. And what I didn't count on was just having that conversation meant that people were more openly talking about diversity and inclusion. These actions that we've taken has really changed my views on Fisher & Paykel as a company. Seeing the lack of hesitation in addressing all of these issues was really eye-opening for me and it made me feel like this is somewhere that I really want to work at and stay at because they really believe in doing the right thing. So it's not really just about diversity, um, it is about inclusion. It doesn't matter what diversity you have in your business and in your teams if it's not inclusive. And that's what it's really about and I guess we're still trying to figure out how we can lead the world in measuring and improving that.